Yeah, I mean, the right way of settling disagreement is to bring it out, talk about it in open if it's possible. And if there is still disagreement and there is enough support for these two different kind of future vision, then the best way is people go on their own way on a very amicable terms. Um, un unless, you know, there's this understanding, like you say, honesty is the best policy in the way that people bring out facts and matters that you know, they don't feel happy with. And if it's just pure misunderstanding, it should be pretty obvious when they lay out. But often people don't work like that as far as I can observe people. Um, sometimes, you know, might keep it under wraps and they might perceive other people as A and well, the other people are not what they think is. And this, if not properly communicated, caused the rift. Communications is the key, but um, if you're not having any say into it, at least you can suggest like people, you know, sitting down and talk about it. Like Master Chinko mentioned about six harmonies to make a successful Sangha, an organization. Sangha is the Buddhist group that cultivates together, right? And if they want to achieve enlightenment, achieve results, which is enlightenment together, they need to have six conditions to met. And among the six conditions, number one has to be utmost important because number one needs to be met before the other five can even be a reality. And the first one is Jian He Tong Jie. In Chinese, in English, it means they need to be on the same page. They need to see the same thing. They need to be on the same visions, exact same visions, right? You and I seeing the same things. We see eye to eye. You and I want the same thing. Only then we can talk about uh, living in the same organization, working together, spreading out the benefits and all that. Those things comes later. You know, yi he tong jie, yi he tong yue, you know, enjoy the same sort of um, facilities, uh, sharing the same sort of uh, uh, profits, same uh, etc. etc. But number one, if it's not there, the vision is not together, the, there's no organization to be had, or there's no harmonious organization to be had. So, this is a question you need to ask do they see the same thing eye to eye? And it, in, in, it's very normal people don't see eye to eye. It's very normal people mistaken they see eye to eye only to realize after you know, a few years into these mergers or a few years into this marriage, they don't see eye to eye. So it's up to them to see whether they want to keep going. Like, is there any common ground? I'm pretty sure in terms of Buddhism, it's not hard to find common ground. Unless, say, they obviously do not want to practice pure land and they want to go and learn other section of uh, Buddha's teaching that is perfectly fine, right? Buddha is never, ever, ever will force you to stay in one place that is not Buddha, that is not Buddhism. You will always be free to have your own group. You know, obviously, be, be, be courteous and say, hey, man, I would like to form our own group. And to give you an even concrete example, ancient times, not modern times, mate, ancient times, even among Pure Land, you can see there's so much schools and there are many ways of chanting Amitabha. Some people like it fast, some people like it slow, some people like it with Di Zong, which is the, 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 with the percussion instrument. Some people like it clean and they all branch out into their own individual school of uh, Ninfo, individual cultivation group. It's fair. If I like it fast, Amitofo, 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 they have their own dedicated session on that. They have their own place for that. If you like it with percussion instrument, Dizong, they have their own place for that. And that will create a harmonious settings where everyone is in sync and easy to achieve the target in one go. So, like you say, honesty is the best policy. Right now, it's just to put it out there and see if there's any vision that people can still find in each other that they can share with. If not, and if there's enough support for a group of people, feel free to have their own uh, organization. It's fine. Um, what we don't want to see is people starting to spit at each other 
poisonous words, especially in front of a. I'm pretty sure everyone is caught this now, obviously, and I I might over analyze, but yeah. Like, sorry, I can't be very concrete about this, and we shouldn't be because this is an open forum. We should keep it as discreet for the you know sake of your organization. Uh, we will not mention names or point names here. We're just trying to get out, get the, you know, what we can learn from this. You know, or the observation you're observing. One of the phenomena of the world. Why are all sentient beings easily split apart? Why are there conflicts in the world? Why are there wars in the world? Why are there divorce breakups in the world? Right? It's because everyone. Has different point of view. Why does everyone have different point of view? It can be a level problem. You are, might be at the age of twenty, you seeing things a twenty year old does. You might be at the age of forty, you seeing things a forty year old does. That's one factor. Time. Second, geography. The, the way you grow up, the way you were raised up, the places you've been, the culture, the the geography and stuff like that shapes your temperament. And that temperament is different from the other temperament. And then it's different. It's fair, or you know, thoughts, thousands of thoughts. You don't have only one thoughts. Like Amitofo has no thoughts. Obviously, they don't look. They don't give rise to random thoughts. They don't allow random thoughts. They don't need to have random thoughts. We are used to random thoughts, and thousands of thoughts means thousands of ideas. Thousands of ideas means thousands of vision. Thousands of vision means thousands of path. Obviously. What you need to, what we all need to get out of this is, there's only one source. People call it God. We call it Buddha nature. Or to make it even simpler, your true self. All right. And it's not mystical woohoo. It's just the origin. This is it's just the source. But people are not aware of the source. They chase the tip and end up with thousands of ideas. So it's very normal to have a to have, to have this harmony. If they are not at the same page, if they are not aware of it, the reason we have this chanting hall and all these sessions because everyone wants to understand one thing: no matter how many thoughts you have, you will still die. You will still have illness. You still have old age. Right? You still have a lot of pain and sufferings that associate with life. Obviously, they are pleasure, they are happy, happiness, and we are not saying you should deny any of them. These are exactly as Buddha say: you cannot pursue. Extreme ascetism, which is extreme suffering, or pursue extreme happiness, extreme pleasure, hedonism, which is enjoy without any restraint, all sorts of sensory pleasures. You should be in the middle path. You should understand, you know, contentment is the best way to enjoy things. You know, keep pursuing is always endless, and and etc. etc. So back to the. Back to the point at hand, um, only enlightened people have ultimate harmony, have full harmony. Say an enlightened master, both sides, they might appear in a different school of Buddhism. When they sit together, they're always laughing and have tea. Right? It's not like two Yakuza gang or two mafia boss sit down and like trying to one up one another. No, in Buddhism, it's always if you see the huge patriarch, the masters. Who are re actually enlightened? When they sit down, they relax, they cool, they chill. Only often you might see their students might be like, "Oh, like I'm 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 from the school of this. You're from the school of this." Or well, the master is like, it's just a method to help you to get better grasp in your cultivation of Buddha but Dharma. You like this way of doing things, so we just call it a school of a school of doing things left or the school of doing things right. Ultimately, go back to one place, you know, your true self. Right. So that kind of mindset. If everyone have that kind of mindset, obviously there's no war. But hey, we only can get what we can get. <laughs>